Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Quack Thank you for joining us. Today, we're doing something I have been sp supposed to do? Supposed to. You I have been supposed to do. That's the been. word. That's the word we were supposed to use. You just put out a video of Listen, five games. I know. I told you them. you need to play. I was, that I really need to play yes. in 2021. And if you had given me more heads up on that okay. video, okay. we could have covered more of them. All of them, basically. Mm, three of them the easily. The vast majority well, of those five? games. Your five were Anachrony. Don't grass, ask me questions. Your Spirit Island. What yes. were the other two? Uh, Anachrony Bass, Spirit Island, and it would be nice if I knew the other two. It would be nice if you knew, because yes. the reason I remember those three is those three, I'm like, I know those games, sure. I can I can do those games, but you didn't give me enough heads up. But Spirit didn't, Island, didn't Spirit know. Island we can do. It's been on my list for a long time, and Terraforming Mars has went so well, yep. uh, Blood Rage went so well, yep. Cthulhu Decimate, I mean, these a lot of these games that people had been pointing at me going, hey buddy, forget people, just me. These are some of my favorite are you, games. Are you? Art thou not people? Senda? I am. I am part of the people. Oh, by the way, if you're not familiar with this guy, this is Alexander Sender Radcliffe III from North Undershire. He is the board game co. The board uh, game co. And I am the duck. All that being said, so Spirit Island. Yeah. High notes, basic for those who don't know. Basic idea: uh, we are repel. We are spirits repelling yep. the evil invaders taking over the land. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. Don't even. You don't do. even worry. Don't even worry about it. You do you. You are powerful spirits of the natural world, existing on an isolated island. Invaders from beyond the known sea have recently begun their colonization of your island, killing the native islanders, a people called Dahan, and upsetting the natural balance. The spirits of the island must grow in power and throw back the invaders before the island is blighted beyond recovery. Yeah, and that's gonna be the broad strokes. Good job, good job, uh, Thank little you. book with the flavor text. Thank you, I got this. The flavor text yeah. thing. No, that was all me. Yeah, so basically the white stuff are all bad. We want to kill all these, you know, little white tokens on the board. And yep. then over here, these are the Han. They are natives. We like those people. They're the, the nice natives of the island. Yep. And we are trying to slowly escalate and grow our spirit's powers because these guys are going to get more powerful and more problematic as the game goes along. And the core mechanic of this game is going to be a chaos management system yep. built off of individual unique player powers and yep. a hand or deck of cards Indeed. that you are constructing and building throughout the course of it. Now, if I sound like I know this game, you, sir, would be wrong. You listen, madam. I have never played this game before. Not only that, you just gave me a 10-minute run-through. We didn't even do a test play. Nope. So if when, when we lose... I'm suddenly realizing that part of my job now is not just to play the game, but to watch Jesse's cards to make sure he's not cheating while we play no, no, the game. No, no, no. That's one of the gems about this game. There's very little control over no, what no, I do. after you play. <laughs> after you play. But oh, he, to make sure I'm not cheating. But you're right. Let's focus on that. This yeah. game is one of the strengths of Spirit Island as a cooperative experience, which yep. is a cooperative experience, is the idea that it is so chaotic and so much relies on these cards in your hand yep. that are so overwhelmingly complicated. You can't control That to really my game. alpha player someone's game requires a degree of dedication to being an huh. alpha player. <laughs> that is beyond the pale. Yeah, you would have already been kicked out of your friend group. Yeah, yeah. And then you're playing this game solo, which is great, because this game does play well it solo. Apparently it plays yeah. very well. So, and here's my proposition. Here's my proposition. I'm curious if there is a Spirit Island community out there. Oh, I'm sure there is. I'm not sure, but I'm curious if there is. And if there is, if you all enjoy this playthrough, and you want to see more stuff produced like this, I'm thinking 500 likes. Well, is there a root community out there? Well, there is. Kingdom Death Monster there, community? There is a Kingdom Death so Monster. So why wouldn't a better game have a community? I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I will take on a heavier challenge and just continue scaling Yeah. Uh, if if there's a group of people that wants to see it. So hit that like button down below uh, and uh, and let's see if now we I can Now, I will say Solo this. has its own interesting challenge in the sense sure. that, assuming you're not playing a two-handed... Well, and you it's very lonely. You could... You could play this two-handed with uh, multiple okay. spirits, but it's a little more Do you typically do solo one-off? I have played this game solo a lot, and I always do one-off. But where it gets interesting is, right now, for instance, you have a spread of Rampant Green, which is a very yeah. offensive, basic spirit. I have Lightning Swift Strike, which is a very yes. basic, offensive spirit. And that plays off each other fairly well, offense and defense. When you're playing a single solo spirit, well, you have to build your deck in a way that and plays off. Because I have cards that utilize you being here as well, which yeah. has to become interesting yeah. too. It changes the puzzle. But you can you cool. can play two handed as well. Uh, that's totally fine. I just haven't felt cool. the need. I've enjoyed being going. Well, either one either spirit. way, I, I genuinely am excited to dive into this. I'm excited to see how it, it runs and operates. And playing it always lessens the bar to get it to the table the next time. 100. And well, so I'm excited about let's, this. Let's get this going. Should we get let's started? Start? Yes, we should. Awesome. So on the back of Whoa. your player board. There is a a, an, a a little bit of flavor text just to establish who you are, to establish your character. Just dumping my pieces. What? No, 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 those weren't there. Those weren't even... The child of a passing storm spirit, lightning swift strike, danced off the shores of the island many ages ago and liked it enough to stay. 
Ooh, there's more spirits elsewhere. It spends much of its time resting in quiet, waking up to dance to the sky when the winds blow strong. It only concerns itself occasionally with the Dahan, the natives, usually appearing out of nowhere to send them off on some obscure errand. The Dahan cooperate partly out of a worry respect for Lightning's power, but as much for the sake of Thunderspeaker, Lightning's child, who is a patron and ally of their people. Speaking of which, Quackalop has a link to his paper oh, down stop. below. Get out of here. Please go no, ahead no, no, and no, check no, no. that out. We've you been... made me read re flavor text. Yeah, we, uh, listen, we have been we've been harassing each other uh, way too much. A spread of, and if you're curious, you know we don't get off together very often. Yeah. But once every couple of months, we try to go out of our way, either me yeah. up to you or you down to me, to spend a you entire owe me a trip. Anachrony, grass. I do. I now owe you a trip. Yes. Uh, but uh, we've been filming for what do you way think? 16, too long. 16 hours straight. Way too long. This weekend. This, and this, this is by the, the way, uh, is coffee. <laughs> and this uh, is liquor, just in a Red Bull. Different container. forms of waking yeah, up. It's true. Uh, no, and, and this will be the last gameplay we do before you head back home. Yes, indeed. Uh, so so this is a, this is a nice close. And if you wonder why he's, you know, a little moody, it's the morning. Uh, <laughs> one of the older spirits on the island, though it is even more wild and exuberant these days than when it was young. Contrary to some stories, it does think things through. It's just more concerned with the process of life than with things like consequences. That sounds, that sounds like really you. good. <laughs> it is not unfriendly to the Dahan, but its idea of a good time is to smother their buildings in all manner of inconvenient greenery, and its notion of help transforms carefully cultivated areas into overgrown thickets. Entire villages have been known to move to fresh planting sites years early, if a spirit speaker suspects that rampant green is going to stay in the area for too long. That sounds like you. Do I want to infest this island with Except trees? for the part where you stay in one area for too long. That yeah. does not sound like you. I just so, I just want to clarify. I did, in fact, choose rampant green because the idea of a good time for me is a farm or a forest. Interesting. Yeah. Have you read your special rules about your own spirit down here? Uh, let's see here. Special rules. Choke the land with green. Whenever the invaders would ravage or build in a land with your temple, you may prevent it by destroying one of your marks in that land, and then steady regeneration. When adding a mark to the board via growth, you may optionally use your destroyed mark. If the island is healthy, do so freely. If the island is blighted, doing so costs one e energy per destroyed mark that you add. Cool. And what are yours? I don't know your character as well. Uh, mine primarily is Lam Lightning Swift Strike. So I am off. I'm, both of my initial starting cards, as well as to my own power over here, I have the ability to make slow powers fast, oh. which can change things because the game is specifically scaled around slow powers happening when it's less beneficial. Yeah. Making them happen early can be very strong. And keep in mind, I do have a card in my hand in case you're ever looking at your okay. cards. Yep. That lets me make two of your par cards fast for that round. Hmm. Yes. But in the meantime, I would say I do have it's one. Pretty question. nice because I think I move fairly slow with my most powerful abilities. Yes. I do have one question for you. Do you have any defensive abilities in your hand? Do I currently have any defensive abilities? What would a defensive ability... It would say defensive. It would say... It would say something along the lines of defense. Add defense, defense, defense. I do nope. not think I have defensive okay. abilities. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate because I would really love to do some stuff here that's based... based... But I do, I do have a defensive speed ability here. Uh, that's going to require a whole lot of powers. I hear oh, what you're saying. Two. You have defend two. That's I have defend two noting. there. Defend two might be but somewhat I need, helpful. But I need to build my plant utilization first. Okay, well, in any case, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. So, we're going to start us off. We're going to go ahead and take the spirit phase. So, both of us are going to go ahead with the growth phase, choosing one of our top powers over here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add two tokens to the land, because I, so I'm, I want to do So, I always spread. Yes, you do. Add a presence to the jungle or wetland. Now, I could... Do you think establishing a temple or adding a presence is the most beneficial? So, I'm adding two, so I can do both, but that is up to you. And you, by the way, if you choose to do that power, power over there, you also can do both. Add a presence, plus one card. Okay, that makes yep. sense. So Plus one card play. So it's not going to be drawing a card, it's going to be just a yeah. card play. So if there's two cards you want to play, that would be the way to go. So let's see here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add I'm gonna add a temple there. I'm going to add something down over here. You know, that seems like a mistake. I'm going to add this over here so I have a little bit more range. Okay, and now do we both choose our action that we're taking up top here? Uh, we do. We both do. Wait, what church power? Uh, I just did my top thingy. You, mine is always, yes. and then plus pick one. I'm going to yep. add a presence. And I'm going to plus one card play this. That time. means you're going to be able to draw two cards instead of one. Okay. And the presence I want to add within a range of one. Does it benefit us to be in the same region, really? So it depends on where you're trying to go. You want to be wary of them doing damage because they will, whenever they inflict blight on the land, they also will remove one of your sanctuaries. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend this Dahan over here. Seems reasonable. Yeah. But I will note this character does one damage, which is not enough to blight the land. Okay. One damage you're safe from, two is when you have to start worrying and having defensive things in play. Okay. Okay. 
so from there that's going to be the first step and then we can go from there to playing our cards and powers and then we'll carry out all our all our fast powers then the invaders will carry out their phase then we'll do slow powers and okay. then start again okay so if you have any cards you want to play you can play up to two cards this round <sighs> i can play two cards as well and i oh make sure to generate energy first so generate at energy uh, it's gonna be energy is gonna be over here it's gonna go on your board and it stays round to round so i'm generating two energy i generate one okay and energy is what I pay at the top of the card to play it. Exactly. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I said okay a lot. I think I'm actually going to change where I play this because I'm already going to start. No, you know what? I'm actually not going to do that because I really would like to take this thing out because it's, it's about to attack you. So, I got this over here. I got this. Okay. It's all safe. You you're you're going to handle that? I'm going to handle it. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, now, how much, how much health do they have? Mm, always a good question. Oh, good question. So, uh, yes, uh, explorers have one health. Uh, these have two health, and these have three health. Because I because I could do one damage to it. One. So the problem with doing damage to these is it resets at the end of the round. Okay. So one damage I would say save for these, or make sure you can always. What coordinate. if I What if I do a damage to this guy? That's here. a good thing. That'll kill okay. it. But All right. well, you can always coordinate. So if you know you're going to do one damage to a building, you can say, Hey, Alex, I can do one damage to that building. Can you uh, help me out over there? Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, if you've I got, got this... that building, I I can knock him out. I got that. I got it. Okay. And should I go ahead and play these cards? Uh, yeah, that seems like a reasonable way to go. Um, okay, cool. So I'm playing this one here, and I'm then... Play, I'm spending two energy, and I'm playing these two cards. And then I'm adding, uh... I'm adding this one here. Yep. Both of mine are slow, though. Okay. Well, I spent one energy to do that. Or no, cool. I spent no energy to do those. So yours so are I could slow. actually... Well, you can always keep energy round to round. It's not a big deal. Yeah, but I didn't play one because... Okay, cool. So, that's what's going to go, go on over here. And I am going to go ahead and carry out mine because mine are not slow. Mine are not fast. But for every the purple that I have, which I have two, I can turn those into fast. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do those as fast, which means I'm going to go ahead and inflict one terror. That's going to go into our terror pool. Fear, not terror. What does defend do, by the way? Defend. I will cover that as soon as I finish my cards. Okay. I'm going to generate that fear over there, and then I'm going to go ahead and destroy this building over here. That's going to be a range two for one of my sanctuaries, which is right within range one. Sure. So we're good over there. Uh, that's going to be that. Now, because we generate, because we destroyed a building, we generate an additional fear. Small building okay. generate one fear, and two, large building generate two fear. Then I'm going to go ahead and carry out this, which is going to go ahead and... Ooh, I'm so close to doing that, but I can't. Oh, well. I'm going to push up to two of the Dahan. So the question is where to push them, because you don't have defend to the point that I want. I have defend two. Yeah, up. defend two is not going to be enough for what I want to do here, because I kind of want to push these here so that they can um, destroy those back, but we need defend four to not have the Dahan destroyed. Mm. So I think I will just go ahead and push the Dahan. I'll just push them one instead, and I reluctantly be fine with that. So I'm going to push those over here, and... Um, you know what? I am over here. I can push these. No, push is... Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. I, uh, okay. I'm one if you pushed any Dahan into a land with buildings, but I did not cause that terror. Okay, mm. so I'm going to call that a day for my crew cards. What was the question I was answering? I, I was asking what defend does. Defend. Okay, great. So when the Dahan attack during their ravage phase, which is going to happen this round, but will happen next round, it's going to start by happening in these areas. The Dahan will attack... Not the, not the, not the Han, the invaders will attack doing one damage, two damage, or three damage per respective piece. Sure. Now when they do that damage, the damage will they will attack and damage the Dahan. Every two damage will destroy Dahan. And every two damage to the land will put a blight on the land. Okay. Or more specifically if they do at least two damage to the land, they'll put a blight on the land. And so we want to stop that from happening. We do not want blight. We mm -hmm. do not want and also can remove our own tokens as well when mm -hmm. they do when they put blight on the land. We want to avoid all those things. Those things are all bad. The good news is if they do one damage it is ineffectual. Okay. And the Dahan will attack back for whichever Dahan are surviving. Okay. So this Dahan, for example over here, we'll I can here, out. he'll attack doing one damage which will be ineffective, then the Han will attack back doing four damage, which will be very effective. Ugh, the Kingdom of England. Can you believe it? Horrible. Yeah. Uh, gift of uh, Proliferation. Target spirit adds one up to one away from there. <sighs> you are kind. I'm a gentleman You're and a, a scholar. Gentleman and a scholar. Yeah. I will go ahead and do energy generation for right now, but I think both those are going to be important to me as time goes on. Target spirit adds one up to one from their one. Okay. I think I will just go ahead and continue to expand my ability to be influential in this cool. world. Uh, and then my other move is going to be slow. That's fine. No damage is being dealt this round. We do have to be wary of building, but that's another another problem entirely. Oh, okay. I actually misinterpreted this one. I thought I could take him out. I can't. It's for its targets of building. 
So, you can just pull it back entirely if you don't care about it. Yeah, I'm just trying to think through. Like, if I if I had done this, one damage is not enough to destroy, but it would be... It's not, but because you have these symbols, you can do an additional damage with your innate power over there. And that would be enough to destroy it. Okay, so instead of a shrine here, let me do my shrine here. Seems reasonable. This uh, is Spirit Island, lots of retconning. Well, and this is also the first turn I've ever taken in the game. So That's just a reasonable excuse. <laughs> so my, my shrine's going to go here, which would have allowed me to play this yep. to target that. So we're going to tilt it on its side to a minus also there's one damage there. Okay. If no more damage is dealt. Well, actually, there's no damage because it's a slow power. Nothing happens. It happened. is a slow power. Nothing right happens. Yeah. Yeah. The invaders will take their turn. We're going to start with ravaging. There is no ravaging to be done. We're going to continue with building. So we're going to build wherever there is a presence of the explorers. It's a bit of a nuisance. It's a bit of a nuisance. It's more than a nuisance. I even forgot about it to an extent. Uh, we're going to put another building over here. See how these things spread? Yep. We're like, oh, we took it as a building. And there's four new buildings popping up. Mm -hmm. This is civilization encroaching on us. Then we're going to go ahead and explore. We're going to explore on wetland. And so that means we're going to add basic these guys. If anything which you have a presence or are adjacent to a presence, you will explore, which is basically everything. Yep. It takes some time before you get the control necessary to uh, stop that from happening. Yeah, they're taking it all over. They're taking it over. Okay. That's going to be the situation over there. And then we go from there into, uh, well, you can take your slow powers. I do not have any So slow my slow power, target from a shrine to this tile here. That's going to be one damage. And I do, I either get to do defend or I get to do... Uh, do you have enough of it either? You don't have three green. I do, oh, you have, do have three, three green. green. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, so defend two won't matter because right now they're it won't not matter right now. But, but next So I can do often. the attack. Yep. One damage to a building. I can knock that building That out. is excellent. And that's going to be another fear generated. Cool. Uh, and do these, where do these go? Discard pile? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And this should really be up here. One, two, three, four, five. These, this fear moves down here and then generates cards. Sure. Okay. So that is the situation over there. And then we move from there to other stuff, uh, which is going to be next round. Next round, we continue the, sequ the sequence. When the do cycle. I start buying cards? Uh, you can buy cards when you do this or this. Mm. And it, that is the fun part of the game building up your deck and sequencing things together. There's a giant stack of cards over here that I will shuffle just one more time. And are these cards unique to our characters nope. to some degree? Or nope. across the game, they are all the same? Your uniqueness starts with here, but you're going to be drawing works. four cards, which means it's usually pretty easy to find stuff that complements what you're to doing. To cater, in the game. yeah. Okay, and like I said, if you're playing it solo, you often want to balance what you're already doing. Okay, that's going to be the situation over there. And now from there... We move to the next round where we go again with our spirit face. So go ahead and choose which action you're going to take so again. I'm always going to spread. Okay. Um, well, let's... Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. I'm kind of torn between taking more... I might, I might want a card at this point, but I don't know. Because they're going to be ravaging here. To, to give you context, they're going to be doing two damage here, which is going to hurt. That's mm -hmm. bad for me. They're going to do two damage here, which is not good for the land here. They're going to do damage here, which is not good for the land, and damage here, which is not good for the land. All in all, things are not looking great, and having the ability to stop them would be excellent. To the point that I think I may well uh, reclaim cards and grab a new card, because I think I, think I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and draw up my cards. I'm going to reclaim and then gain a power card. Because I need some more flexibility over here. And I'm going to ge generate an energy. That's the option I'm taking there. None of these places have three invaders other than this one. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to spread here. And then add a presence and plus one card play this turn. So I'm going to do that as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to spread here. I believe I know what I'm taking over here. No, I don't want this one, actually. Okay. Okay. I generate two power. So you, you've done your sequencing over there? I so did. You're not, you're not buying cards right now? Uh, no, I spread. I spread here, because I think I'm going to be able to at least take advantage of... Uh, of Go this this group here. Can I play cards? Uh, yes, you may, certainly. Overgrown in a night. So this is going to be speed, range one, target land any. Either add one presence, or if target land has your symbol. Oh, if target land has your symbol. And now time to rethink that. I'm definitely playing this. I'm just deciding what else to play as well. Uh, Would it benefit you to use uh, slow powers as if they were fast this turn? Mm, I could push a building 
or I could push a mushroom. Well, again, yeah, keep in mind, I could play something that will let you use your slow powers if they're fast. So, Otherwise, I feel no need. So what if I did... It could. Or it I could, could destroy a building. Yeah, it could. Or I could destroy a building. It could help me. If we, if we wanted to add three fear to them, it could help me. Mm, from that sense, I'd rather destroy a building. Okay. All right, so I'm going to play those two cards and pay three energy to do so. Try to get these buildings off the board. Now, keep in mind, next round, they're going to be ravaging in water spots, which... Is not so scary right now, but it will be scarier if they build in Ravage okay. spots. This will add. This will allow me to add a presence. It will cost two to play. Um, I'm going to establish this, and then this is a slow card. Back to the rule book, by the way. Yep. So, this allows me to push a building, or push three, uh, or push three uh, to Han. So here's here's the question. Mm -hmm. This to Han will destroy him. This Dahan will get hurt. These Dahan will get hurt. These yep. Dahan will get hurt. I could I could keep some Dahan from getting hurt. So I'm going to be able to destroy at least one building. Okay, and I will be able to defend two. Okay. Defending uh, two would be very helpful. And I can push three Dahan. So defending two would be very helpful in either of these spots because their Dahan will attack back and kill them all out. Okay. So whichever one is spot better for you, that's fine with me. Now, but I don't... So, could I move the Dahan here? You could, if you do have an option. Mm. You can either push a building or push three Dahan. Yeah, either push a building or push three Dahan. So, for instance, pushing a building to give context, I mean, where do you think it's beneficial to push, push a building? So, I want I want to try to protect the Dahan as much as we can. So, yeah. I was thinking about putting a building or, or moving something to keep Dahan from getting destroyed. So, here's where we are so far. Um... If you said, I can take this, I can, if you defend here, that's completely covered. And I can destroy this building, so that's completely covered. Okay. So these two spots are covered completely, which means this spot will be the spot to worry about. This one here? Yep. If I push a building here, though, these Dahan will get destroyed as well. No, because they're only, right now, they're only attacking, only only battle is happening in, uh, in sand spaces right now. Oh. Yep. So if I move this building, yep. we're in a good position. Correct. For right now. No, okay. no land will be lighted. So you're doing that. That but is, you can't that actually is speed push the slow. Building. That's speed slow. Yeah. But I can defend. Oh, yeah. and that's going to happen after. Speed yep. slow is going to happen afterwards. Yep. What a mess. It is a mess. Okay. I do defend here, though. Okay. So what we're going to do is take one of your yellow tokens from market. So we get a little reminder. That's what the yellow tokens are for. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take my powers. They're both going to be fast because of my ability. And I'm going to generate one terror, first of all. Um, then I'm going to push a person. I'm going to push this person out of here. Now, what I'm doing there is I'm basically taking him out of here so he doesn't build here, stopping mm -hmm. him from being a threat next round. At a certain point, you want to take into account the next rounds. Then, if you have two orange, which I do, generate an additional fear. And then this card over here is going to be generate a fear. So we're slowly generating that fear. And then destroy one building, which I'm going to destroy this building, which is going to generate another fear. Okay. And that's my situation over there. Those are my two cards. Now they act? Uh, now they act. Uh, yes, they do act. That is reasonable. Uh, so you play your cards? Your slow I have a waiting? slow. Yeah, I have a slow okay. power waiting. So they're going to go ahead and act. We're going to go through the sequencing there. Uh, there's no blight we have to worry about right now because that's all fine. And then we have to go ahead and handle the ravaging. Ravaging. This is going to attack over here. Does one damage to the land. They knock them off. They don't care. This blonde over here, they're going to gen... Ooh, I don't want to push them here. I was wrong to do that because I would have done that wrong. I wanted to push him over. See, lots of retconning here. I'm going to push him over here. Okay. And that reason for that is because they're going to generate three damage. When mm -hmm. you defend two, means they only generate one damage, which is not enough to do anything. Mm -hmm. Then the Dahan will attack back, doing four damage, which does mean next round we're going to have a fear card. Because this comes nice. down here, we push these all back up, and we have a fear card in our Wendy. Yes, basically. Over here, they're going to go ahead and add one Blight to the board. We're going to take this from this card. This not a mess. good thing. It's a mess over there. Yeah, blight is just generally not good. Blight here as well. Over there, they're going to add another Blight as well. Again, just not good. Ooh. They're going to also take this out. Mm. Mm, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, that's there over there. I did not think about that. That was a mistake. Mistake, I say. So, that's the situation. And we move from there to the next step. Oh, okay. your slow powers. Yes. Slow powers. So, I could push three to her, or I could push uh, a building. Yes. Do... Let me Let me ask you this. I could stick Dahar in a location where they might be able to do some damage. Yep, but that only helps if we defend. Otherwise, we're just killing the Dahan. Yeah. Um, or I could try to, like, move their buildings so that they're not... There are any buildings that are situationally beneficial to move? Um, 
I mean, this, one, this is this becoming one, a powerhouse. This one, oh, this is a small. No, these are bigger buildings. The only building you actually could move is the is that. That's the only thing you have potential. Yeah, I mean, like, is it is it a problem that this is getting so powerful? It it will certainly be a problem. Yes, all things in this game will be a problem. Yeah. You just remember, I will so, note before we started beginning. Jesse said, "I have no problem losing horribly on camera." Not me. Nope. Mm -mm. So like, if I if I pulled this one into my location, mm -hmm. yep, we'd then be we'd be able to start dealing with it. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. going to try that. Great. Let's go ahead. Next round. Why are you mentioning that I'm going to lose horribly on no, camera? I said, I said you're fine losing horribly on camera. I don't say anything about you losing horribly on camera. That would be that'd be weird. That'd be weird. All okay. my cards come back into my hand? Uh, yeah. Sounds if about right. Them, if I played them all? Sounds about right. How many cards do you draw? You, oh, no, no. You don't, no, you don't, no, no. Your cards do not come back in your hand and play them all. Your cards come back in your hand when you do reclaim cards. Oh, no. This is something we mentioned yesterday. When I am thinking and distracted in all my game groups, I just say, yep, sounds about right. So I have, no, cool. I have no cards anymore. Exactly. All right. Always, always spread uh, to a jungle or wetland. I wonder if I cheated. Probably. Why did you cheat? I'm not sure if I, I followed the jungle or wetland restriction. Well, we can we can watch it later. Completely invalidate any win or make our loss more embarrassing. The first time I played it here, the time when I might have cheated was this one. Uh, just for the record, this round. Mm. Ooh, no, I don't want to do that. I think I want to do that. I might I might have cheated. Um, this round, sir, I believe that I am going to be letting you do your spirit powers as if they are fast. Okay, we good there. You good on the fast part? Mm hmm. I good. hear you. Excellent. That's what I thought. All right. Well, jungle or wetland? Let's do this. Uh. Okay. Reclaim cards, gain plus gain a power card. Can I please. I'm reclaiming and can I get. So here are some card options. And go ahead and pick one. I'm debating whether I want to reclaim as well, but it's, I need to start generating this situation here. I'm going to generate that situation there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add one presence to the board. It's going to be one removed from wherever I am. And do any of these have sanctuary obligations? They do not. Gather means what? Uh, gather means to pull into your spot. Okay. I think I'm doing this. Okay. Uh, did we I... build? Did we forget to build? We forgot to build. Oh my gosh, we just totally forgot to do a whole bunch of steps last round. Well, we did, that's your fault. We did Ravage. It is my fault. I'm mm -hmm. not even going to try to pretend it isn't. So over here, we're going to build. I was like, why does this board look too easy? Now I know why the board looks too easy. Okay. Uh, that's the situation over there. Okay. Um, all totally fine. Not Nothing to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. Then this is going to shift down here. We're going to be fighting on there, and we're going to explore on Mountain. Mountain's going to go explore, explore, explore and explore again not like it's getting harder at all to deal with the situation no and now we can do our this situation. is becoming a problem like i said exactly okay drew of cards got my power card generated my energy can now play two cards i can now play three cards which is much cooler come on and i didn't mean cooler than you i meant cooler than what i had before no, i would never I mean... say now i'm going to make two of your powers fast this turn whether you want me to or not and they're going to ravage the wetland uh they're going to try to if we can, if we let them. But again, you are, you do have the flexibility to make two powers fast. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do a bunch of stuff. Should I just uh, sequence some things? So you see how this is playing out? Cool. All right. So this can go fast. Mm. Can you do any like damage and stuff? You can do damage, right? Because I can do one damage to all three of these. Which means this would be dead, this would require one more, and this would require two more. Just yeah. in case you want to know. Okay. And I plan it. Um, I... And keep in mind they're going to attack you over here too, which would hurt one of your sanctuaries. You do need one of those. Yeah, okay. This is the, what I think I'm playing. Okay. And again, those are both going to be fast as far as we're concerned. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with destroying one regular size building, which means I could take this out from you entirely. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll take that out. Great. Uh, actually, can I? I don't know if I can. Range of two from a sanctuary. Ooh, I cannot. You're not there. I cannot. What? I built this there this round. I'll build this over here. But it's still range one from a sanctuary, but I'll take this out. 
Okay, that's gonna generate one fear. Oh wait, wait, one second. Oh, we're fine there. So we're gonna do a bunch of stuff, and then we're gonna generate this fear thing over here. Actually, the sequencing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Your turn. My turn. Uh, yep. Yeah. So. Well, not your turn. I I generated this ability. I'm still letting these play out over here to see how you want to do things. So I've got both of these are fast. Okay. One can do damage to uh, everything in a mountainous or a sand zone. Hmm. That doesn't or help nearly at all. One damage to a targeted thing. Mm. I also generate defend two. If invade is present, gather up to two. And I could either defend oh, two more. Oh, no, that's cool. That's cool. Do that one. Or I can do another damage here. No, so that here's what I, I can do one damage to each invader. Okay. Okay. You can gather a bunch of invaders. Okay. And therefore, I can do damage to more invaders. Oh, okay. So why don't, so, you, why don't you gather them all in there, but then I can't target there from there. Where's your range? I can hit them over here. You could gather two people into here and I can just wipe them all out. Okay, so target, range one, target any, speed fast. So if I gather like this. You may do so. Okay. Okay. Uh, then I'll go ahead and damage them all. Taking them out. Was there an invader present? Uh, was there an invader present? If no invaders are present, gather up to two. Oh, uh, there's an invader present? Yeah. See, those are just rules, pesky rules. But I could do it here no we have to worry about the wetland to a degree we it may not be defend too much be the problem is defend two nearly needs to be on one of the, defend two is probably more important than the gathering right now i would just defend two okay so here's, here's the deal uh this part is kind of there that's and we can ignore this right now your powers are fast we can use that already we've done so i can do one damage to each invader which is really the most helpful thing i can do at this point so the question is you have your innate power i can over there. i can do I can do two defend and two total damage. So two defend and two total damage is interesting because that means I can take out this, mm -hmm. I could take that out and do one damage to this, and then yeah, that works. Let's okay. do this zone. Okay. Although this zone's gonna hurt you. Yeah. Mm. But I can defend there. Yeah, the question is where you defend. If you defend there, you can't defend there. I so don't, could... I don't, do I need to defend there? No, everything's... Or everything's, do you need my two damage? What's more important? Need is a relative term, always. Um, this is also sooner or later going to hurt. But that's sooner not, or later. That's not right now. That's tomorrow's problem. That's tomorrow's problem. Okay, so... Okay, just go ahead and do your thing. This goes away yes, from last time, right? Yes, last time. So defend there. Yep. Damage and damage. Yep. Uh, so I can take one out. Yep. Well, but that doesn't help. That won't help that one. I can... Do one damage to that. Yep. And one damage to this. Yes. Okay. Um, I will go ahead and deal one damage to each invader, taking this out, taking that out, and putting this on. Well, it's supposed to be tank supposed to be like from there down to there. We're down to one damage left. Also, we generated fear because we took care of that. But we weren't able to take that out. Nope. Not yet. But you can if you so choose to do whatever. The, ha having this be destroyed is not the worst. It's not going to fully destroy it, I believe. You'll just partially lose it. But won't this take it out? Uh, which take what? The Dahar? No, because if, if we don't defend here, then this will do be damage to this and to the land. I think it's better to take this out at this point, but I could be biased because it's not my thing losing. But I'm also, I'm not able to, this this isn't either or damage. This is just defend. I just have defend. That's Well, that's just defend. I'd put the defend over here because then we could actually take this out. And then lose my shrine. Just you would only lose the top level. You wouldn't lose both. Okay. Okay. Now I can also push up to two uh, bad guys. Are they ravaging here? Uh, they will be ravaging there. So I could prevent the ravaging by destroying one level in my land. Which seems reasonable because that would just stop them from adding blight. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, we need to take advantage of that because you can always refill from your thing. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Your whole thing is you provide a little bit of a mossy growth to the land. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's actually pretty good, actually. So that, that is the right way to handle that. Um, and then I can go ahead and push up to two of these, and I can push them. We're going to be dealing with mountainous regions next. So, I think I'm inclined to push um, push up to two of those. I'll just go ahead and push. I can push from here. I'll push this one over here. Up to two. I'm just going to push one, because I'll add that over there. And then one, if you pushed any into a land with buildings, which I did not. But I'm not gonna, that's fine. I'll skip the fear aspect. Or perhaps I don't want to skip the fear aspect. Perhaps I do not. No, I'll skip the fear aspect. Okay, cool. That's the situation over there. 
And now, it is, sir, I believe, the quotation. Oh, no, I'm going to use it as a slow power. I'm going to choose to use this as a slow power. I'm not going to do this right now. Okay. Okay. So this goes back over here. We now proceed with the stuff. Now, here's where it gets interesting. We now have a fear card we can use for the first time. And spirit fear cards will potentially help us. We are on level one of the acceleration, so we're only going to do the first part. Each player removes one guy from a coastal land. Coastal land will be along the coast, mm -hmm. so we can each remove one from a coast. And I am going to remove this guy because I don't want them building. It's fair. I'll do the same thing. Okay. So these will give you a little bit of a degree of pushback. We just suddenly have to deal with a whole lot less stuff next mm -hmm. round. Okay. From there, we're going to go ahead and sequence out the cards. We're going to Ravage on Wetlands. Nothing happens here. They're going to do one damage here. Three minus two is one. We're going to then do two damage back, which is enough to kill it and generate two fear. Solidly well done there. Okay. Okay. We're going to go over here where this guy's going to do one damage to us, which Doesn't is not matter. enough. Take him out. Boom. Over here, he's going to go ahead and do two damage to the but land, which is going to cause blight. But whenever no. you ravage or build in a land with your, you may prevent it. Yep. And this goes off to the side of the board, which eventually, once you finish off these, you're going to want to use I can those. pull it back in. Yep. Okay. And that's going to be that situation over there. We're now going to move to build, where we're going to build on two spots, a significantly easier next round. And then proceed from there to uh, exploring on, this is going to be no escalation yet. Oh, wait, escalation might show up here. Nope. Coastal lands. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, coastal lands. So we are going to explore all along the coast. Kind of annoying. Yep. But no, it happened after the build. Still kind of annoying. Well, well, well I mean, yes. I mean, the game the game gets progressively easier I don't when you stop why. doing the cards. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard that. Okay, uh, at the end, in the slow phase, I'm going to go ahead and push up to two. So, and I use now I went two ways. I want that building to be there. I'm going to go ahead and push these two over here, which they'll be able to do some damage back. Plus, I generate a fear because there's a building there. And that is the turn. We now proceed to next turn, where I'm going to go ahead and do our stuff. Okay. Always grow. Jungle or wetlands. Let's try to make sure I don't cheat this time. I think mountains being a thing, I think I want to do it here. I have to reclaim my powers, plus one. I have to reclaim cards, plus I get a new minor power. Add a presence, plus one card play this turn. Hmm. Hmm. I can start removing Blight, which is interesting. I don't know if I like that quite as here. much. All right. Generate two energy. I think I'm ready to go. Hmm. I think this is too important not to do because of the symbols. It's not what I want. Defend two in every land where target spirit has. Ooh, that is intriguing. What we're, we're doing with mountainous right right now. Mm -hmm. I think I have to take this. Defend two in every land where you have a presence. That's nice. Yeah. That actually does great. I think that has to be taken. Even though this is really good for my other situation. That is going to... You need to get your presence on the board, dude. Okay. So, I'm going to take those cards. I am definitely playing that. So, there's going to be Defend 2 here and here, which That's... means this is fine. This will still need a little bit of a buffer or something killed. I'm going to go ahead, and then I'm going to generate my energy, which is going to be 2 energy. And I can play 3 cards. Okay. Uh, so, I'm playing 2 cards. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go ahead and work through? Both of mine are fast. You go for it. So, Target Spirit adds 1. One energy? You're, no, you're adding one mark. One mark. Ooh, that's awesome. You're the best. You're welcome. You're the best, sir. I know. Okay, I'm going to generate some more energy generation because I need that. And I will go ahead and put that uh, one from their thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump this. I think I'm going to keep building these up because I like okay. these sanctuaries. So this one, Overgrown in a Night, I targeted here. Yep. If the land has your mark and invaders. Uh, three fear. Three fear. Terror. Terrible. Fear, fear. Okay, so you... You added one. You you added one. I added okay. one. And then if I actually one. didn't need to do it there though, did I? Because you didn't need to. I was reading that it needed three invaders. No, so it's add one or there. But I was reading that it needed three invaders for me to do it. So I was aiming for a location with oh, three yes, invaders. You do what you want. But I don't need to be there. All mountainous regions will have defense. Oh, but then um, this card is something I can use in the future too. So in general, spread out. Yeah, general, I don't. I don't out. need to be there. Instead, I could spread to there, which yeah. would add a defend. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then let's see here. The other thing is, though, I also get to do two damage. So I have two total damage coming in. So uh, from where? From from this. Oh. Oh, so it's slow, though. It is slow. Okay. Okay. So we can do that after. That's fine. 
I think my big fear is not fear. I need to take out... I think that one might be the right card because then I could completely take out this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this over here, which is going to be one damage to each invader. Although we're going to be building... Oh my gosh, that's not good. We're going to be building on coastal lands. Coastal lands are just going to be straight up building. That is they're going to be building all along here and all along here. Sure. It's not sure. That's bad. I hear you. Bad, 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 bad. Um, so I'm going to hold this back a second while I look at what I'm doing here. Uh, targets for amazing two powers. Destroy one building. That's fine there. I don't have a problem with that. Destroy a building is arguably better, perhaps. Or this one is not bad as well. Generate one fear and push one person and or building. If you have two. No, I do not have two. Generate a fear and destroy one building. Which is arguably better than just that one number each invader. So I think I'll go ahead and do this. This is just not good. We're just we're just not gonna be um not good. Not good those. Okay, I'm gonna generate two, paying two for that. And then that'll be the sequencing. Next round's gonna be a tough round. So I'm gonna go ahead and defend two in every land, which we already did. Uh, then I'm going to follow that with this with one terror and destroying a building, which generates another terror. So we're gonna do two of that uh, terror generation going on. Oh wait, these are supposed to, these all mm -hmm. came down, which means we're gonna add two more. Plus there is a fear card here, which will trigger this round. Mm -hmm. That's the nice part. When you generate the fear early enough, it'll trigger this round, which might give us some leeway. Uh, that's gonna be my powers. That's everything I'm doing. I've done everything except my slow power. Okay, so your slow powers are still in play. And then, okay, time to do stuff. So we're gonna start by generating the fear card, which is going to be uh, invaders do not explore in land into lands with at least two. So we don't know where they're exploring, but anything that anything that is exploring with a land that has at least two Dahan will sure. not explore. Okay. Okay. That's helpful. Avoid the Dahan. Then we proceed with our with your with the invaders. So over here it's going to attack, nothing's gonna happen. They're going to attack back. Over here they're going to attack, nothing's gonna happen. Over here they're going to attack, nothing's gonna happen. Over here they're going to attack, nothing's gonna happen, and we attack back, destroying them and generating a fear. Nice. Okay, so a little bit of control, but now the bad stuff. Coastal lands. We're going to build all along the coast, in case you thought this game was getting easier. Yeah, that's what this game is. It just punches you in the gut. You just got to control that flow. Okay, that's all the building. Then we are going to move this down, and we're going to explore on... We're going to explore on mountains, okay? Except we'll not mountains. do it here. We'll not do it there. We're going to explore on these three mountains. But now things get worse because you, sir, request that we play in a slightly harder mode. Mm -hmm. And so that slightly harder mode includes this scheme. You see that little symbol there? I see. That's the escalation symbol. Okay. That means that we're going to go ahead and building boom. On each board with buildings, build in the land with the most buildings. So this has the most buildings. We're going to go ahead and build another small building in case you thought things were getting easier. Uh, this land that wants the most buildings is tied so we can choose where we want to build. But it's going to be a, oh, well, yeah, it's going to have to be a big building. Where do you want a big building, sir? Which one of these annoying... Uh, that, I know that. One of these three. Maybe here. Sounds like a plan. We're going to generate a big building over there. This game is not going to work out well for us. That is going to be the situation over there. And now, we proceed to next Are these round. considered two separate spots? They are considered two separate spots. Darn. Yes. Let's go ahead and do this. Your cards can go away. What a mess. That is a fair assessment of how things play out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add two presents to the board. Uh, I'm adding a presence. And we're attacking on coastal lands. Let's not forget that. I'll figure out where to add the presence shortly because I'm going to have to play some cards here. Then I'm going to generate four energy and play four cards. I'm going to have to reclaim my cards. And can I gain a power card, please? I'm going to play for all these cards. Oh, you want a power card? Big or small? Huh? Bigger, major or, or minor? Probably still a minor for this one. The major ones get a little hard to uh, play. Okay. One more, one more yeah. minor. I mean, if you have a lot of energy generation, it gets easier. Do you have a lot of energy? Yeah. I mean, I basically have all my dials. Well, out. let me give you an example of a power card okay. from the high ones. This is going to cost four. Mm -hmm. And then give you these and do all this. That's just one. Give me a big one. You want a big but one? But I have to get rid of you a card. You have to get rid of a card. It could be one of your basic ones. It could be one of your basics. Give me a big one. Okay. So, four of these coming your way. Have fun. They can be lots and lots of fun. There's a reason I like this game. You like powers and, and abilities. abilities and scaling. Yes. 
Also, torturous uh, everything. Also, two of your cards are going to be fast this round. Heard? Two of my cards are going to be fast? Yep. Okay. Getting rid of this one. Okay. You're playing a lot. I am playing a lot. Okay. Let me generate. Should I go ahead and just do some of my you stuff can, so you yeah, can, you can uh, go see? Ahead and do your stuff. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing just to begin with. So I'm going to start with killing this building. Okay. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. I killed this building. I destroyed that. That's going to generate two fear off the bat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do one damage to each invader. So that's going to be one, one. And then these two are both on their side. See this? Both on their side. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's uh, the situation over there. Um, and then... I'm going to push up to two target spirit, push one or one. Ooh, interesting. I think I'm going to go ahead and do fast, generate a fear, generate a, t a fear over there, push one or one, and if you have another, generate another fear. So I'm one fear away, and I need to push one or one. I think I will push this over here. So we're going to get that over there. Okay. So that these three are all, can you do like multiple damage points to those? Yes. Because if you can't, I can push a regular guy instead. No, I believe I can. Okay, so I'm going to leave those all down on the side. That's going to be this card over here. Target Spare may use up to two powers if they're fast. You already know that. And then I can push up to two Dahan and one plus one if you push into a land with what's it called. So, anywhere we want to push Dahan to uh, mess with them. Because I can push Dahan over here and then they'll deal like six damage to Dahan, taking the Dahan out instead of the land. But it's not, it might be interesting. We're going to have some hard things. I can defend. I can defend two on the Dahan mm -hmm. somewhere. Okay. And we're pushing on mountains. Interesting. We're building on mountains. I could protect some of the Dahan here, right? I think I'm going to push these guys over here right now. Okay. Because I think I, I it's gonna, we're going to lose a Dahan, but this way we will be able to stop some building in mountains. Okay. Where should I protect? Defend two. Uh, defend two. Uh -huh. What's up? Okay, def defend two. So you're gonna be ravaging on coastal lands. Well, so if I defend here, yeah. No, no, you don't need to defend here. That one's covered. That one's covered. Yep. If I defend here, I could protect these a little it, bit. Oh, well, it depends. They're gonna need six damage, so defending two won't really help. Defending two here helps. Okay. Can you reach there? Yeah. Okay, perfect. No. Maybe not. You can't. Hmm. Could you have reached here? Yeah. Then go ahead and do there, and I'll push here instead. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to target. Okay. Um, to generate... I want to generate just more fear, I think, instead of just adding my mark. I think more fear is not unreasonable. It's going to give us a, yeah. a, a card, plus make the game a little easier. Yeah. And so I spent two. I can point out any of the locations where I am that has an yep. invader, and yep. I generate two more fear. And then I'm going um, so to... We're going to push this down, push this back up, push two down, and generate a fear card, making our win condition. Now we have to get rid of the buildings and not all invaders. Okay. Well, uh, this is fast, coming from a shrine, mm -hmm. uh, and I can target here and do one damage to all of them. That is exactly what would be great. Okay. Um, stem the flow of Oh, by the way, that's going to be three fear. Yeah. By the way, the... The card that I selected in my hand yep. is going to help you generate power. I'm cool with that. I like power. So just so you know. I like power. I like power. Cool. should be able to give you some power. You're done with your cards? I Are am. you done with your, your powers on the board? Uh, I did my defend, yeah. Okay. Do you, you did your one damage to whatever? I don't believe I had one damage. You didn't have the uh, symbols? Do, do they? Well, I do have the symbols, but do they cost for this or this? No, they power everything. Oh, do they? Yes. Oh. Wow. That changes didn't everything. Know that. that changes a little bit. Uh, this is slow though. But did you use? I gave you two slow powers as fast. And did you use both? Didn't or use one? both. So I can okay. add this. So I can do one more damage to a building. Um, and then repeat it. Uh, and then what? And then repeat it. And then repeat it. So I can do. Well, no, I didn't have two gray. Oh no. Okay, got it. Yeah. So one more damage to a building. One more. So damage I don't know if that building. really helps us, unfortunately. Uh, um, it could maybe. Tips this one over. Mm. Tips this one over. No, these ones will be dead either way. Actually, wait. No, this is gonna do three. Taking out one. No, these are gonna be dead either way. Um, Tips this one over? No, it doesn't really matter. You, you can try. Go ahead. This, this is going to do six damage, killing all that completely and totally. These are just dead. And it's Tips this one over? It doesn't matter. I wish it did, trust me, but it won't matter. It's all okay. good. Well, then I'll tip this one over. Yeah, let's just, just do it. Why not? 
We'll go okay. Back. Okay. Cool. And then we're going to go ahead and generate our fear card. Oh, that might matter for fear if you want to change where you tip. Because we don't know what this is going to be. So it might matter. Choose somewhere. Sounds like a plan. Each player may push up to two uh, invaders from an inland land. Okay. And then each player may push up to three from an inland land. Sorry, not, it's not, uh, not and. It's or. Each player may push up to three people and or buildings from an inland land. Okay. Okay. So, uh, there's a few ways we can handle this. We know that we're going to be building on mountain. So, if we get rid of... Yeah, that's what I'm That's thinking. coast. That's inland. That's it. Yeah, this is inland. This is inland, but there's no invaders there. Um, I think that's worth pushing this one, if only because it stops a new building jet popping up. We could push him here, and he's vulnerable. Yeah, they're not particularly concerned. This, okay. I like that. I do things that deal one damage to everyone in the spot, so oh, that's that can correct. be helpful there. You have all this inland over here that you can push. Hmm. Don't know how much it helps, but it might help. I mean, you can push build. We can push buildings too, which is interesting, but not really that it helps because yeah, you can push. I could push this here. You could. It might make things easier, or not. Well. We do blanket damage. We both do some yeah. blanket damage. So blanket so. damage. So let's, let's do that. Yeah, I like the idea. Great. Excellent. So blanket damage it is. And now we proceed to that's our card. That's our fear card. And we are going to go ahead to the sequencing of damaging on coastal lands. It's going to do a blight over here. Not good, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's going to do a blight over here. They're going to do three damage. Actually, it's not going to do a blight over here. They're going to do three damage. They'll take out one to Han. Um, then we don't going... wipe. We don't kill them back. We will. Oh, yeah, we do kill them back. That's what's going to happen right now. We generate and one fear. fear. Yep. Okay. Then over here, they're going to do all the damage to the Han, killing it, plus they overkill, dealing a blight yeah. to the land. If there's ever no blight here, flip this card. And we now move to another bad thing happening. Immediately generate two fear per player. Each spirit destroys one of their uh, the things and loses one energy. So I will lose an energy and destroy energy one. Then you don't have to do it. I'm going to destroy that. I will destroy this one, I think. No, I'll destroy this one. I have my initial choice. Okay. Um, that is going to be there. Oh, I'm supposed to lose one of these as anyway because they blighted the land. Forgot about that. Okay. Uh, and then immediately generate two fear from player. So two fear plus another two fear. So we are still generating that fear, which is going to help us win the game. Okay. Uh, then three blight per player is going to be added to this card. Any blight removed from the board returns here. If there's ever no blight here, the players lose. So when we lose this six blight, that's how we're going to lose. So there's a whole bunch of these cards that are randomized, so you don't know exactly which effect will happen. And then we continue moving. So we did this one over here. Now we're going to go over here. They're going to do one blight to the land. You're going to have to... Oh, you offended it. Nice. Uh, nothing here. And over here, they're going to damage this, not doing any more to the land. Do they hit them back? Nope. If they're okay. dead, they're dead. That's okay. the whole defend part. And now we proceed to the next round. Oh, no. Nope. I lied. We're going to build. We're going to build. Always remember and the slow. build part. Oh, I did it fast. Yep. We're going to go ahead and build over here. We're going to build over... No, we're not going to build here. We're not going to build there. So that's actually a pretty decent... Uh, and do they explore? Uh, they are going to explore. Okay, and we're going to explore on jungle land. So this place is actually not going to explore. For the first time, we're going to get one of those. That can really help us. Getting those, kind of trying to crowd people away from the coast. That's the problem. The way it's set up, you want to try to crowd them away so that you get some sort of situation there that is a little easier. Little is the key word because it's never, it's never a lot easy. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and do our situation. I am also going to do a major power, I believe. I'm going to generate one energy and gain one power card. I'm going to give you power this turn. I'm cool with power. Power or energy? I'm going to give you energy. Cool. I, I will probably use it, but that's going to help me make decisions that are otherwise hard. Ooh, I like this card. Um, and we are ravaging on mountains. Ooh, I'm taking this card. That's not even a question. You said you're giving me, you're giving me uh, power, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give you... No, energy. Energy, energy. yeah. I'm going to give you three energy. Mm-hmm. A uh, three energy. Okay, that's going to that's gonna help with my decisions here. Because so I'm going to generate four. Plus another three. It doesn't leave me a lot of room if I do this one. But it will be incredibly powerful. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have a very powerful, very costly but very powerful turn. I have to get rid of a card. I don't 
really want to get rid of these cards, but I think I think I have to. And you're slowly growing your stuff there. That can be really beneficial. Who? You. You're like just generating your stuff all around the land. Probably cheating. No, no, it's good. It's good. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think which card I want to get rid of because these are all, all very helpful. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay. I'm not happy about the card I got rid of, but I am very happy about the cards I'm playing. Okay. Let me go ahead and do my sequence. Are you sure? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. So speed, fast. Target spirit gains three energy. That's for you. Yep. Took it already. Oh, you already did. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's that. I could repeat this power card, but I, I don't, I don't have the cost to pay again. Okay. Uh, you can do two powers as fast as round, by the way. Okay. Um, I have the ability to do, no, I don't. I'm not doing any of my ability. No, I am. I have the ability to do defend two. Where okay. are we, where are we being attacked this so, time? So just put your defend token out and I'll, let me, let me go through a few of my stuff. If okay. You want to see. And then I have, but then I have push one or push three. Uh, pushing one's probably gonna be better. Cause I'm gonna yeah, go are you doing are you doing damage? Oh, to I'm a doing I'm doing hosts of damage. So let me push one building, and where are you targeting? Where do you think you're targeting? So I think I can take out this land entirely, basically. Okay. Um, or most of it. Okay. So I'm gonna do five damage there. Uh, what are you doing again? Well, I, I can get a building into one of your. Uh, so pushing a building adjacent to this land would be great. A small building. You targeting this at all? I might, but push that like one over there. That'd be great. Okay. Okay. Um, then I am going to it's go ahead you. and I'm going to generate one fear with this card. Okay, that's going to be one fear generation. Then I'm going to generate another fear because I have two orange this round. I'm going to push a building as well. And this has to be from a range zero of mine. That's not <laughs> nearly as satisfying. Hmm. <laughs> That's not nearly as satisfying, I guess. Oh, no, that is satisfying. I'm going to go ahead and push this out from here okay. to here. Okay. Uh, that's going to be this card gone. And I will note, I have enough powers. I have, I have four orange and three purple, which can be relevant for this card and for this over here. Okay. Okay. Although, slightly annoying there. Mm, that's not as much fun. Okay. Still, still good. Still good. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and do this one over. Nope, not that one yet. This one I already did for your target spirits going fast. This one's going to be fun. I'm going to generate three fear. Okay. That's going to be three fear. Almost there. Then five damage. Okay. That's going to be five damage. Okay. And okay. And two more fear. fear. And so that means we're going to push that back. And, and we trigger another one. Be another fear card coming so you got up soon. Two. Yep. 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 Um, then I'm going to, if you have three of those, which I did, destroy one building in each adjacent land. Okay. And increase this range to three, which is not relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and tar target both of those in adjacent lands, destroying those two, generating two more fear. These major power cards are expensive, but can be a lot of fun. This mm -hmm. had to happen in Mount Mountain, which it was. Uh, it's going to be this card over here. And then finally, I can push up to two Dahan. So we're going to be having Ravaging in Mountainous Lands. Get some Dahan in there. Do you, is that protected? No. No, it's not defended. Oh, this defend token is, is sitting there waiting, right? It is, yes. That's interesting. It might not be the worst to defend there because that's where we're ravaging. So I think I will go ahead and push up to two Dahan and generate one t fear if you push them into a land with buildings. Okay. And that is my situation over there. And your big powers? Uh, my big powers. Oh, yeah. You may, I may destroy one building uh, within a range of one from a sanctuary. So I think actually... I'll keep those Dahan alive by destroying these. Okay. That way your two defend will prevent that and we'll keep everything nice and protected and generate another fear over there. Um, that should that should work over there. And then I should have some more cards here that I did not play yet. These are for next round. Okay. Cool. That is the situation. Ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Fear cards first. We're going to have each player removes two or one from a land with Dahan. So we're going to be doing... Uh, Let's remove the buildings if you can. So the buildings, we're currently uh. safe on the mountains. But what in terms of the, on the forest, we don't really have any Dahan in forests. No. Our Dahan are very localized. That's actually very not helpful at all. Each player moves two or one from a land with Dahan. Our Dahan are not in the right place for this card. Mm -mm. Nope, that's not going to help us at all. I mean, we can remove those. They're going to die either yeah. way. doesn't really matter. Unfortunate. Defend two in all lands with that. Each spirit gains one energy per sanctuary they have in lands with invaders. So I have nothing. You have one. You get one. One, two, three. Three. You get three energy. Okay. 
and defend two in all lands with that, but that's not really relevant because nothing is being attacked that we can't control. Okay. That's the problem with these tarot cards. Sometimes they really help you, sometimes sure. they you already prepped for them. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead through the sequencing. Nothing, nothing, nothing because defend, attack back and kill, nothing, and we are good to go there. Cool. That's the ravaging. That was a good round. That was a good round. Awesome. We're gonna move this down, we're gonna build. Okay. Nothing. Would you be like built more here. energy? <laughs> I would always like more energy. Okay, this is bad. I literally up, got that card thinking to myself, Alex will do things. I did a ton of damage with that card. I can't do it every single round because it's just too expensive. Not if I'm giving one. you energy. Are okay, you giving it to me every round? I, I might be able to. Okay, and that's over there. And then finally, we're going to explore on this one. And that is going to involve us putting out uh, our exploration on water. And then additionally, because of the escalation, we're going to go ahead and the building with the, on the space with the most buildings in each spot, we're going to add a building. So this spot is just really just interested in just booming. Okay, fun fact, when you put a blight on a blighted land, you not only put a blight down, you put an adjacent blight as well. Nice. So two blight. Land does not want to be blighted. Okay, and we proceed to the next round. I have no more cubes to go on. I need to draw my cards back. But I can spend an energy. You may. To add this. I'm going to go into here. Mm. No. Oh, I got this one. Ooh, I am taking this one. Yes. Uh, are you able to deal with this? Yes. Okay. Maybe. No. No? No. Why not? Because of Sanctuary. Uh, maybe I can change the card, I think. That's going to be doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That, nope. That's going to be doing 8, 9, 10 damage. That's just going to do a Blight. This is what it is. Okay. I can deal with this. I can't get my... You know, I can't get stuff over there. I can but, okay. that one. So... Uh, I'm reclaiming my hands. Can I please have a big power card? Big pa again. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm helping you again. Okay, with what power? The card that I'm getting, Entwined Power, mm -hmm. you and your spirit, you and Target Spirit may use each other's marks to target powers. Target Spirit gains a power card. You gain one of the power cards they did not keep. Whoa, okay. Let me see. Are you playing this round? I, I probably can play it down this round, yeah. Okay, you and Target Spirit may each use each other's power cards, each other's things to target powers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that means I can handle this. Yes. No, it, yes, I can. Yes. Perfect. That's what I was okay. checking. Perfect, okay. Then, Target Spirit gains a power card. You gain one of the power cards they did not keep. Now, you have to give up a minor a power. I'm taking a minor power because my major power is already expensive. Yeah, I'm going to give this one up. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm spending a lot to do all this, but I am going to be both giving you power and allowing you to utilize my... Here, here you go. Here's a power card you can choose from. Oh, well, you're doing it now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you're giving me power as well? Giving you power as well. And you make sure you paid for all that, right? It's going to cost you five I did. power. I did. I, I had it. Hey, Target Spirit gains three energy. Okay, this changes a whole bunch of stuff. You're welcome. That's what I thought. Okay, taking that one. Okay. Because here's the thing that goes on here. What goes on here is if we can... At this point, we're starting to escalate the fear generation because things are just popping up. Are and I you... also am able to defend and do damage. Okay. So, here's the situation here. I can start with... These three alone, these two alone, are going to do one damage to each invader. Now, if you can do two damage, these will be all that's left. I cannot do any damage. You this can't. is my entire action. I'm facilitating you. You have no more... What about these, you said? Oh, uh, I can do one damage. One damage? I'll take it one damage. Okay, that's slow or fast? That is slow. And I don't have enough to do But I can that. defend. That's not going to help, unfortunately. But, defending, you can defend? Mm hmm Okay, so perhaps if I let you use your power as fast, that will be enough. So, I'm going to let you use this as fast, which means I'm going to do this this power, this power, and this power. Okay, so far. That's going to cost me five. 
and then I'm going to start with that. I'm going to, might, I might play another card as well, but I'm going to start with that. That's going to do one damage to each invader here, one damage to each building here, which is going to lead these two, and then you're doing one and damage to gone. one. Yep. And we get two more fear. Yep. And you're doing one damage so far. Can, can I do one damage? I cannot do one damage. Yeah, you can do one damage to that one. Okay. Okay. So that's, no, that's completely dead. Oh, is it? Yeah, because you just did the third. Then that, the last damage to that one. And how much fear? Two fear. So shoom and shoom. Can we get another card? Yep. Okay. And more importantly, we now only have to destroy the big buildings. Oh, intriguing. Because that's the worst. Because we now only need to destroy the level three buildings, which are there and There's there. There's only two of them. Yeah. And I can take out at least one of them. The question is, do any of these generate purple? I need a purple generated, right? No, I need purple and a thing. So that's going to be these three cards. That card can't do it. I don't have enough energy. These cards, can they do you it? You don't have enough energy. Nope, but wait, wait, wait. giving you all the hey, energy. Hey, hey, Simmer down there. What are you doing? Simmer down What are you there. doing? One second. Push up to two, one terror. Two, push up to two if target land has two, add one. I can't do it. I can't do it so close but i can't do it oh man i can take out one of these i can take out this but when as soon as i play one of these cards i'm going to play one of these cards and take that out which can generate two more can terror. you move the dahan yes yes i can and you're defending here right you're defending there sir sure. i'm going to go ahead and push up to let me just make sure i can yep from here i'm going to push up to two dahan in there one if you pushed any so I'm going and to remember another you use, use my marks to yep. control even things. so yep 100 yeah. That's going to be that there. I already used this power to destroy that building. That means all my cards are now done, which means the sequence we now have is my cards are done. Oh, by the way, so push two fear. No, I did that one with this one. Yeah, we're good there. Okay, so that's done there. This is my hand. And now we proceed to the terror card, which may be enough right there on its own. Each player, no, we go straight to level three now. So each player removes one, what's it called, from any land. So just in case things go continue, I'm going to remove this from there. Sure, yeah. Okay, uh, and then that's going to be that card over there. We're then going to proceed with the ravaging. They're going to ravage here. Nothing. They're going to ravage here, doing damage to you and oh. lighting the land. Uh, no, I can discard this. Oh, yeah, that's true. You're right. We got we to remember that power. Uh, we're going to damage over here. That's why I've been building land. shrines in locations. And then they're going to ravage over here, which is defended. And then these guys will attack back, taking that out. And Bob is your uncle. Did we do it? We did it. I won my first ever game of Spirit Island, which means... I don't need to play again because... That's it. That's it. I'm done. That's I have a perfect work. victory. Once you win a game, there's 100, no reason 100, 100, to ever 100. play there's, it again. I, this is challenging, and this has like, got a lot of little man like, yes. managerial stuff to do. Yep. Um, that's why I've actually never played this with three. I've played it with one and two. I've thoroughly What do you like two. it the most? Well, it's one and two only, so I like it with I two. enjoyed leveling you up. Yes. There's like lots of collaboration. But there was a lot of little like if i was playing your card and i was the one that needed to sequence and track and do damage and like sort i would not have been prepared to do that so because you were playing rows of four or five cards but reason, i enjoyed being like oh take all the power do it <laughs> so i imagine that i would like it with three the most and i'll tell you why and it's the same reason why i like it with two more than one although two more than one always has that social element as well and the reason there's going to be i like this game a lot but the problem is the lower player counts at one and two sure to a certain extent you can perfectly optimize things you can okay. have enough conversations about how things will perfectly play out the more players you add the more you're gonna have to be forced to kind of just let go like sure. listen i got this you got that maybe our things will sequence in a way that works but just do your thing do your, your thing. spirit do is, your thing. is going across the land doing yeah. paying attention to what's important to them yeah but it might not be the same thing that's important to you correct yeah and and at one player you have perfect optimization even at two that happens to a degree. Even, even at two i'm like listen i can handle this if you got something that can do yeah. two damage i think we did a pretty good job yeah. at coordinating and talking yes. and, and me trusting you to lead the show Cause, and, no because we don't what you do in this game is you don't really go with generic like let me see your hand of cards no play it. i'm just like hey can you do two damage yeah and then you're like yes i got this or yeah. hey can you get defend something yes i got this yeah. is a lot of figuring out how your cards work together uh four i imagine would just be way too much of a drag for me well if people enjoyed this, uh, so first off, I'm probably going to do a played it once on this. Nice. Potentially before the gameplay is yeah. coming out. And I've only played this like 500 times, so, so I'm down. Uh, so so Not, that's... Maybe like 10 times. That's, uh, that's one thing that I'm going to do. But second off, if uh, if y'all enjoyed this and you made it to this point and there is a Spirit Island community that wants to see Quacklope invest in this game, 
I enjoyed this. I enjoyed the puzzle of it. I think yeah. I'm where you are. I'm intimidated to play it solo. I will take it on oh, solo. What are you intimidated? I didn't no, say I'm intimidated. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I'm saying, me personally, yeah. I'm intimidated to play it solo. I find it, I think I will find it much more interesting at two or three, but I also have Max and Sean who know and enjoy this game. Yeah. So if you want to see a three-player gameplay here or a one-player gameplay, uh, leave a comment down below and en hit the like button. Encourage them to do it one player. It's not It's not that intimidating. I'm, listen, I'm intimidated to do one oh, player. Oh, fun fact, because I know you don't read rules. Yeah. When you're doing it one player, if you're doing it one player with one spirit, yeah. you're just playing like that. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And start without the escalation. Make your life a little easier. Whatever the case. Here's, here's what I'm going to do. If we cross 500 likes and... If we cross 500 likes, yep. I'll then check the comments and see what has the most votes. Mm. Solo or three player. Mm. That'll be the next video we put out on Spirit Island. And if we cross that mark, I'll do it as quickly as possible. Done. So, all that being said, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you want to, well, you've already seen the gameplay and probably my first impressions. But if you want to see my first impressions.